Hey, what's up guys this is Shukesh once again and today I have for you some awesome tips and tricks on this all new oneplus 5t well I've been using this phone for a couple of days now and uh, it's actually much smarter than I thought there are so many hidden features tricks and tweaks that will blow your mind the oxygen waste has the disguise of stock Android but there are numerous softer features embedded which I'm gonna talk about in this video today so without any further ado let's get started I will start from the lock screen the first thing I want to talk about is the ambient display which is one of the many things you have on your oneplus device that you must know it's very similar to Moto display on Motorola devices and also always on display on Samsung phones but it's not always on when you get a new notification that will wake up the screen but not the whole display just a white lined notification since it's an AMOLED display this is actually quite battery saving and the fun part is when you pick up the device you will see the ambient display once again but this time with notification bubbles and also your time the date and most importantly the battery level so without even pressing a single key, you can check the status of your OnePlus 5T. So how to enable this awesome feature? Go to your display settings and scroll down for ambient display. Turn it on. If you wish, you can disable lift up to display. Now my favorite way to unlock my OnePlus 5T is by double tapping the screen then using the all new face unlock feature. Before I give you a demo, let's talk about face unlock which is something new on your OnePlus 5T. It uses the phone's front camera to identify over 100 points in a user's face and it's quite fast and accurate. It works quite well, uh, better than I expected but there is a tweak here. I have enabled double tap to wake up the screen which also enables face unlock. So no need to look for the power key, just double tap anywhere on the screen. Now if you are a OnePlus 5T user, you might have complaints that the face unlock doesn't work properly sometimes. The thing is, don't hold the phone parallel to your face. That is the normal way you hold the phone. Just lightly incline the phone towards your body that is face the display to your neck area and also hold the phone away from your face. The thing is your face should be in the middle of the viewfinder and since there is no viewfinder that shows up on the lock screen you need to do some adjustments. But this face unlock feature works pretty well it works in dark as well with slight lag because the lock screen needs to light up your face so you will see the lock screen for a second. But it works and I have no complaints. This is where you can enable or disable face unlock and don't forget to enable auto unlock after screen is on feature as well. Otherwise you need to turn on the screen then also swipe on it. If the face unlock still doesn't work you can click on this emoji which will scan your face once again. So indeed an awesome new feature on this new flagship of oneplus. Before I move on to the next feature let's quickly show you how to enable double tap to wake up the screen. Just go to your settings menu then gestures. Double tap to wake enable this option well guys we are back to the lock screen when the screen is off if you swipe down with two fingers you can play the music right away the last played song will play automatically and you can swipe down once again to pause in addition to that you can also skip to the next song just by swiping like this that is just draw the greater than sign and you can also go back to your previous track by drawing the less than symbol so without even unlocking the handset and opening the music application, you can play music on your OnePlus 5T just like so. Well, I'm not finished here guys. You can also draw O for the camera, V for the front camera, W for let's say YouTube application. Well, the phone is locked so you need to unlock for the YouTube application. There you go. As for the shelf panel on your home screen, once again you need to unlock your phone. So if you don't have any unlocking password, this will take you directly to the home screen. This is another way of unlocking your device. Let's remove password protection and show you how does that look. There you go now make calls to your recent contacts or open your recent applications right away. Opening of YouTube or any other application won't be blocked as well. 
now all of these gestures are actually customizable you can assign anything you want uh, there is another one m for the flashlight i have assigned and i can turn it off with the same gesture now let me show you how to program these gestures to different actions just open your settings menu and then look for the gesture settings which should be here then scroll down for the music control and the drawing options now as you remember i have assigned o for the rear camera shortcut but if you wish you can assign this to any other gestures you want and also of course for opening any application you have on your phone within a day or two you will get used to this feature and i'm telling you guys try this feature it will make your life much much easier no need to say the same goes for all the other four letters or gestures i have just shown you guys i am trying my best to make this video as simple as possible i am also showing you the tricks sequentially from the lock screen i hope that you are liking my effort if so then please consider sharing this video with your friends i badly need your help to get more exposure and support this select to speak feature is one of my favorites on this phone which i will show you in the second episode of this video series now when your phone is in your pocket or handbag there is a good chance of accidental press of the power key so there is a pocket mode on your OnePlus 5T which you need to enable just go to your settings menu then scroll down for advanced option there you will find the pocket mode now i personally don't feel the need of a lock screen on my phone so there is an option of removing the lock screen now i can just double tap the screen and directly go to the home panel it's the fastest way to unlock your device no need to swipe up your lock screen now on your oneplus 5t you can take a screenshot just by swiping three fingers on the screen any direction you want it's much more user friendly than hand swipe on samsung devices of course you can press and hold the power and the volume down keys for the same in addition to that you can also scroll capture that is after taking the screenshot you can scroll down and capture a longer screenshot just like so it's very useful for browser for websites and also for social media feeds now in addition to scanning your fingers the fingerprint scanner can do different tasks for example here in the camera you can use this as the shutter which is the most convenient way of capturing rear camera and front camera selfies you need to long press on the sensor to avoid any accidental touch so no need to look for the on screen button which is not that much convenient since the phone is quite big and you can of course use the volume rockers but the fingerprint scanner is at a much more convenient place now if you swipe down on the sensor you can bring down the notification center so after unlocking your device with the sensor you can check your notifications right away without touching the screen swipe twice for the toggles and you can swipe up if you want to collapse the notification center since the screen is in 18 is to 9 aspect ratio reaching the top edge of the screen is almost impossible for your thumb now you can also simply swipe down on the screen to pull down the notification center and the toggles it's much easier to remember so use the sensor when you are unlocking the phone with the sensor otherwise swiping on the home screen is more convenient and faster i think after you open a folder you can click anywhere outside the folder to go back to the home screen but if the folder is too big you can just swipe down to close it now if you are a previous Samsung user you can place the back key to the right side that is you can swap the recents and the back keys by default the back key is on the left side so just go to your settings menu then buttons the top option is for swapping the buttons now just below that there is an option to hide the navigation bar I suggest you to keep this on because if it's off you cannot manually hide the navigation bar it will be permanent at the bottom of the phone but once you enable the feature you can hide the navigation bar just with a single click here so it has been hidden and if you want it back just swipe up it will hide automatically after a few seconds if you want to keep it on screen for a while just click on the small dot at the bottom left corner 
Now on your app switcher, you will see some lock icons on your recent applications. So when you clear your running applications, the locked application will be excluded. That is, it will be still running in the background. Let me show you. Let's clear all the applications. But the Google Play Music is still running in the background. Now there are two modes of clearing your app switcher in normal mode. The task list and the cache memory is cleared without killing the background processes. Go to your advanced settings, then you will find this recent app management from where you can change from normal clear to deep clear. Now the background processes will be cleared as well, but this may lead to unintended results like your app might stop working and you may not receive notifications since you are forcefully stopping the applications. But of course this saves your RAM and also saves your battery more. Now in addition to clearing your recent applications, you can also clear your cache data from here. Just click and clear the data, free up more space on your OnePlus 5T. Now if you are in danger, you can call the police right away just by triple tapping your power key. It will call 112 that is the emergency number for India and also several other countries. In some countries, this might work even without the SIM card. And of course, this works without even unlocking the phone. Now, let me show you how to customize the multicolored LED notification light on your OnePlus 5T. Just go to your settings menu. It will be under the display settings. By default, only two colors are assigned. So this is one of the first things you do on your OnePlus 5T. I have assigned four different colors for four different status. This is for the default notifications. This is for battery full when you are charging. There is also blue and red for charging and battery low. You can disable LED notification for certain applications you don't want. Now the display aspect ratio of this year's OnePlus flagship is 18 is to 9 instead of 16 is to 9. So some applications might fail to adapt to this new aspect ratio, which might cause some problems. So you can actually disable those applications from running full screen. There is a settings for that. Just go to the settings menu. Look for the app settings. There you go. Then full screen apps. Disable any application. Those apps will be opened in compatibility mode that is in 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. As you can see guys, there is a black bar at the top and the bottom part of this application. But don't worry, most of the applications nowadays support this new display ratio so you might not even need this feature. Guys, we are at the end of episode 1. I have shown you just 30% of total tips and tricks I have for you on this awesome device. There will be two more episodes so make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't miss any episode. You can check the description below for the links. OnePlus 5 is such an amazing device with so many smart features, yet it's blazing fast. It's probably one of the best or I think the best phone you can buy at this price point. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I will see you on my next upload. Bye bye and keep in touch.